good everybody? I'm burning. Today I'm about to do another video from Dry Studios. This is Covington versus Woodley. The promo. Y'all requested it. Don't trip me now. I got y'all. Adesanya. His fight is about to come up against Costa. Oh, I can't wait. And we got this one coming up too. I reacted to Tyron Woodley's highlights. I don't recall if I reacted to Covington highlights. I don't remember. But Tyron Woodley is a beast. And since I remember him, that's how you know he left an impression on me. That sounds kind of weird, huh? No homo. Nigga, all homo. I don't care about none of that. I'm ready to hop into this video. Shout out to everybody who's been listening to my music. That means a lot to me. Y'all my homies, bro. Y'all my homies, like, for real, for real. All right? I'm ready to hop into this. Listen, man. Listen, I tell you all the time. If you ain't got no friends, if you feel like you alone, if you feel like you a loner, if you feel like you a nerd, a loser, it don't matter. Me too. I'm your friend. You my homie. Listen, y'all my UFC fam. I got so many different fams. You feel me? WWE, UFC, anime, funny videos, stupid videos, spiritual videos, music. All of y'all are my fam, bro. So y'all my UFC fam. You feel like, man, I ain't got no friends. It's like, nigga, Brandon Rashad, your friend. Like, for real, for real. Let's hop into the video, though. Turn one of the most polarizing figures in our sport, one of the biggest heels in our sport, Colby Covington, into a sympathetic figure right now. I am actually feeling bad for they Colby Covington. They use the Covington. term Let's heel? Just recap how Even in UFC? I didn't know that. The interim right, right, world title by beating Apple Dos Santos in Chicago at UFC 225. He said, I'm coming for you, Willie. Right. The UFC was rolling the dice by making this interim title fight so we can have champion versus champion, Tyron versus Colby, a fantastic feud. He wins, and the whole thing pays off. I'm the undisputed champion now, and everybody knows this is the real bet. I was supposed to fight Tyron Woodley last December. He b***ed out. Colby coming out of mm. one side with a belt, and Tyron coming out of the other. That's when you get the payoff for all of the, the bit of a bumbling that the interim title has become. But in all this right. particular situation, Colby and us as the fans were told mm. that fight with Tyron is going to happen around November. Colby goes, dude, I'm down for the fight. I just went five rounds. Willie's been out for how long? I can do it in October, November. Just let me get ready. I said, I'm going to have science surgery. That's fair. And they went, nope, mm. strip me of the belt. You're going to strip Colby of his interim belt. What happened there? Oh, nothing. I, I mean, we did the interim title because when you do the interim, the interim then fights the champion. Well, Colby isn't ready to fight the champion. Tyron looking for a submission here. Why'd he say uh, he wasn't ready? He does have a toss choke on his resume. See, I'm reacting to Tyron Willie's uh, highlights, bro. He a beast. I already know the homie a beast. Who do you think of when you think of the next challenge? You know, it's kind of tough to say because anytime I say I want to fight a certain person, it doesn't get the um, get the response I want. So what I'm going to do is just continue to fight. Whoever they put in front of me, I'm going to beat them up. I'm the best welterweight of all time. He said I'm the best welterweight of all time. You a beast. I'm going to admit, you a beast. I don't know this dude you fighting against though. I should have reacted to his highlights. Dana, what's up, bro? How you doing? How you doing? I just want an explanation why I'm not fighting for the belt this weekend. Stop I was supposed to be fighting this weekend. Why am I not he fighting came this weekend? With you know the... I offered you the fight. You could have took it. Now you're gonna have to wait. And I'm the number one guy in the world. You can't take away my ranking. I won a belt. I did it all. Next time I call you, say you want to fight, say yes. Oh, so he caught him and asked him, and the homie said no. This, Tyron Woodley and Kamara Usman. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, Tyron Woodley, did you lose this fight? Looked like you lost, bruh. Paycheck to me, but we want to come out here and take this losing paycheck to Snoozman. So Snoozman's next, man. He's got nowhere to hide now. I'm putting him out cold. I guarantee you, mark my words. The world champion in the world, ladies and gentlemen, come on, Usman. Who called him? Snoozman. <laughs> this dude better be a beast. Champion, <laughs> Kobe, to you better be a beast. The fans, that's me. That's why I'm the people's champion. You got that talk. I like it, but I you got to be able to back it up. Of all time. So now my path is getting back and getting the belt. Sometimes the greatest champions have to face adversity and bounce back. So I'll ask right. you, uh, Colby Covington's getting the next shot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll get the next shot. As long as he accepts it and shows up for the fight, he will get the next shot, yes. I've had five knee surgeries. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I saw you limping. Did you have one recently? I just had surgery. Actually, um, I had surgery on Tuesday. Oh, well, that's a um, hernia, right? I had a double hernia. Jesus. Yes. Sheesh. Whoever that was, he was a... By unanimous decision, call me chaos Covington. I don't know. Marty Fake Newsman, we can do it tonight. We can do it right now. 
Oh, that was Usman that was talking about his surgery. Wait, let him come you're doing it right now. Legs to Come on. Oh, and now he got him. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you talk shit and lost, bro. Kobe, I it be like that sometimes. It be like that. A little small margin. If I were to punch Kobe, you may be a life support right now. But I'm looking at how many punches those guys took. Um, I was impressed mm. with their durability. I was impressed by the fact that they kept doing it over and over again. It was kind of a teeter totter thing. But as far as IQ, moving your head maybe to the side so the punch misses your head. I just uh, sit by the I just don't like when people try to give unnecessary savage moments. Yeah, you broke your only broke his jaw in a certain run and kept fighting. But you lost. No. Both of them. Let's start things off with something fresh, and that was this past weekend, your longtime rival, the man that last time you were on the program, you said you wanted to face in Tyron Woodley. A very tough fight for him uh, this past weekend against Gilbert Burns, but a very impressive showing from Gilbert Burns. So just wanted to get your thoughts, man. What did you think of that fight uh, now that it's in the books? Guys, let's start off by having a moment of silence in his career. Hold on one second. Just, just one second. One minute silence. Did Tyron Willie lose that fight? I'm guessing he lost that fight. want to see is you versus Colby. There's a great story there, and I know that it's been dragging, and I know this is the fight that you wanted to happen. Is that the fight? Does it have to happen? I'm not going to say I'm fighting anybody. Any I don't do that. That's that's what the, the rookies get on the mic and say. I'll fight anybody. No. The opponent that makes sense, we'll sit down there and we'll talk about it. Tyron Woodley's good looking. Got the perfect physique. Uh, he's got the record. He's, and he, he's got knockout power in both hands. But every time Tyron Woodley opens his mouth, he shoots himself in the foot. He's just, he's just a, he's a very unlikable guy to mm. fight fans. It's the way Tyron Woodley has always been, and it is the way Tyron Woodley will always be. When he's unlikable? We finally like this nigga? clarity because Colby showed us a signed bout agreement to take on Tyron Woodley in August. Now, Tyron came back and said, eh, I'm still a little banged up. I just went five rounds with Gilbert, and I'm getting real close to getting back in the gym. I need a little more time. Colby signed the deal, and he's ready to go. So, just waiting on Woodley. He's washed up. You don't want to fight no more. How are you just going to make up a fight day? And ain't nobody talking to me about this day, and if I want to fight on that day or whatever. It ain't make sense. So, yes, I will fight him, but I'm going to do a camp. There's no fight left in him. He's literally just showing up to get paychecks. He was cashed out years ago. He should be scared because he talked a lot of shit. Now he's going to get hurt. I get what Colby's doing. I mean, he's making a lot of noise and trying to do business. And if you fight him, you're going to make a lot of money because a lot of people are going to come to see him get his ass kicked. You want to end his career. I want to end his life. He knows I'm the money fight. I, I built that fight. And no one wants to see him. They want to see me. Now he's got Tyron so mad. Tyron wants to f kill him. All the shit talking Colby's been doing. He did interviews with people. He told them, don't bring up Colby's name. I don't want you to even bring up his name. Because he didn't want Colby getting any attention. But now it's too late. Oh, shit. I've never met a more lazy or piece of shit than Colby Covington. A more horrible human being than Colby Covington. That's an easy matchup. Oh, oh, no, bro. Oh, no. It looked like Tyron Woolley lost his last maybe two fights, it looked like. Punches around sparring and but, the top team with me, so I'm the most well-rounded fighter on the planet. I, I still haven't seen anybody. my pace alone. Covington highlights. Keep with my pace and, and Tyrone. He looked like he was scrapping. He knows it. You know, he's tired at home. He's probably still out of breath. This kid is for real. All the trash talk aside, all the theatrics, he can fight. I see me breaking him in the first or second round, and him quitting in the third round. He has no cardio. He just backs up. He's real predictable to fight. So I will melt Tyrone Woodley and finish him. He also said that he beat beat you up in sparring. And that there were times where like you wanted out, it was always very one-sided in sparring. Not only is he never taking me down, Ariel, he's never won a millisecond of a round. Tyron's bad. He doesn't yeah. like Colby. Yes, he and doesn't angry. like him. Yeah. yeah. An angry mm. Tyron is a scary human being. Yeah. He might be the fastest, hardest hitting 170 pounder that's ever lived. Woodley looking to finish! how he fights he's real predictable all he has is a right hand he's got no gas tank he backs up and fights people are scared of his power i'm not scared of his power i'll go right into his power i'll get him in the clinch i'll do whatever i want with him i'll finish him inside three rounds mark my words it's so frustrating to have this somebody be... in your face constantly Rats, not giving you time to read it's like you're drowning dude this kid's cardio is insane just pop pop constant constant attack constant kicking him constant punching him what we coming to is really taking it to david and i right now i'm 
never wanted to beat somebody up so bad. But now you see the pro world. It's almost like my duty as a martial artist to fuck him up. Oh! That's it. Now that's it. Hey, everybody wants to see me retire. Tyrone Woodley. I'm going to be a good guy now. Everybody's going to say I'm the good guy because he's a race fader. He complains too much. Now you're going to get what you ask for. Now you're going to get your ass beat. I'm not going to knock you off quick. It's not going to be no first round knockout. I'm going to embarrass you. I'm going to talk to you the whole fight. I'm going to tell the referee, get back. Now get in my way. When I stop this, I'll tell you when it's time to stop this. Oh no, bro! This this hey, this promo was fire. The problem is when they lock this octagon, I'm gonna unleash an ass whooping on him that nobody has ever experienced. Dry Studios fire video, bro. Bro, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I wish I would have reacted to Covington's highlights, cause I don't know who's gonna win. It looked like they both gonna scrap though. Because I've seen how Tyron Willie fights, and from these highlights, it looked like Covington's a scrapper. And like he said, he won that other fight. They went all the way, but nobody was really dodging any punches. That's what Tyron Willie said. He was like, why aren't you moving your head? So I'm guessing he could take a punch, and he'd be delivering punches. Bro, this fight going to be fire. I can't say who I think is going to win. I haven't seen Covington yet, so I need to react to his highlights. Once I react to his highlights, I can say who I think is going to win. Tyron Willie is a beast, though. I'm going to keep it a stat. So, I don't know. It might be a good fight. Let me know who...